And we're live. Welcome to the Sprint 17 review. Uh, the Common Stack, we do this every week. You can even go back and see every sprint that we've done. Well, maybe not all of them, since we started these videos, at least. You can see all of the action that we've done, and it's really cool, and we try to keep it short. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to keep it really short and kick us off just with our budget uh, that we do about most months that we'll actually show off uh, kind of a financial transparency report. If I can share my screen. So it's just a, it's just a spreadsheet uh, kind of off the cuff or not off the cuff, but uh, it's not like a, a special report. We're going to make it a lot better. We just got a new, uh, someone's redoing it. But in general right now we have uh, still have $230,000 in the, in our coffers. Uh, we had a really bad month this month. The market kind of tanked on us. So we lost some major crypto uh, value in the market fluctuation. About 70% of our holdings are in Ether. So that's, that's really why the, the market fluctuation hit so much. But last month, we also had a huge boom. So that's just the cycles that we're in. Uh, but otherwise, we're looking pretty good. We have enough money given our runway and our donation uh, flow to go until March uh, 2022. So, uh, and hopefully we'll only be uh, kicking that up even more. And the other thing that I wanna just give an update on is uh, the work in the TEC that I'm on. The Prams Working Group is chugging along, making progress on the, um, on the Commons Config Dashboard, which is kind of the, which will be the next step of the Commons Simulator and the Hatch Dashboard, a little fusion between the two. Very excited about that. And the Common Swarm has made a major progress on, on the actual Commons upgrade. We're gonna end up partnering with OneHive. Well, we're already partnered with OneHive, uh, but we're going to make uh, the Gardens template into a Commons template. So uh, in that way, there'll be a lot of cross cohesion and people will be able to discover us as another Gardens, even though it's a Commons with a bonding curve. So that'll be super cool. And with that, I'll pass it to Tam. Cool. And I'm going to share my screen. That's fine. Sweet. So another sprint, another review, another retrospective. This is Sprint 17, and uh, Ivy chose the name for us, Permaculture, um, which I think a lot of people know is uh, the growth of agricultural ecosystems in a self-sufficient and sustainable way. So what more apropos for us at CommonStack? Um, it's, it draws inspiration from nature um, to help farming systems, diversity, resilience, and uh, productivity. Sounds like us. So uh, what we do every, um, oops, I didn't have it up. Well, we do the retrospective at the end of every sprint, and uh, we just finished that up. And I'm delighted to share the news that the thing we want to improve on most in Common Stack is we want to be in the same physical place together. So we're talking about uh, how we can plan a team retreat this year so we can actually be in the same physical space. There are some other things that raise, and this is uh, always that surface, and this is always a very good exercise for us to, um, you know, understand what went really well for us, what could we, we could do better, and then to talk about concrete actions to improve. Okay, with gas prices this low, GUE is currently in the teens, although that changes throughout the day. Um, there is a common stack and friends shop uh, that you can use DAI and Ethereum to buy some products from common stack. Um, there are some a t shirt and hat from Giveth. There is a t-shirt from Dapnode, and uh, of course, as well, Token Engineering Commons. Um, so if you don't have enough swag and you just need to get a little more, uh, it's now available. The, t the store will be uh, continue to be built, but um, it's there. To switch to the TEC, um, we are talking about our readiness for Hatch. So we have our Every working group has defined the tasks that have to be done before the hatch, and our uh, working group's stewards are checking off um, when they are ready to hatch. So the question is, if we're going to hatch tomorrow, are we ready? And once that working group is ready, we get a check, and we are tracking uh, very carefully. Uh, the other thing I want to say about the TEC is our stewards have come together and said, hey, what is our wish list for the skills, for the skill sets, for the types of um, um, 
you know, people that can really contribute right now to each working group. So in the blog post um, from uh, June 9th, we have compiled the list of uh, all of the working groups and the kinds of skills that we're really, really in need of right now. So please have a look there if, uh, if you think you'd like to contribute to the TEC. Uh, and you can reach out to the working group steward uh, or to Suga uh, at Suga on Discord, who's our onboarding coordinator at the TEC. And lastly, I thought it'd be nice just to tell people some numbers. So there's over 400 people uh, who have contributed to the TEC. Uh, we now have 11 working groups and 15 stewards. Uh, it's always nice to get some numbers out there. So with that, um, I will pass uh, to Livia. Thank you, Tam. And talking about hatch readiness, we have, um, the praise analysis happening that is one thing, one milestone we want to complete before the hatch because we are giving voice to this analysis process that is happening and showing so much of the patterns of our community for the last year through um, analyzing the praise. So we've been dishing so much praise. There are more than 70,000 praises that were dished and this praise is being analyzed into different categories. So we are understanding some topics that could possibly have a change, uh, that could have a change in the future. Uh, if we want this change to happen retroactively to the results we already have. And all of these discussions have been very interesting and we've been having inputs from many uh, community members and uh, all of you in the trusted seed are definitely an important voice in this process. So we would love to have your participation through advice process, um, participating in uh, this forum post that it's called pre-hatch impact hours. You will find a link here. And there are many interesting points here. It does look a bit uh, time consuming. So that's why we're doing a debate on Tuesday. Uh, even if you didn't have the chance to read all of this, we'll do a brief introduction to all of this process Tuesday at 7 p.m. Europe time during SoftGov call. Uh, and you're also invited to uh, join us this Sunday at 7 p.m. Europe time, uh, where we're going to be defining the scope of this debate and of the next steps moving forward. So we're planning to have results by the 28th of uh, Ju June, the 28th of June, and hopefully to hatch uh, right after this. So yeah, come join us in the debate and get informed about this that does affect everyone that has contributed to the TEC so far. And, and with that, I'll pass to Chris. Hey everybody, just gonna share my screen here for a second. Um, so yeah, um, first things I will talk about, hopefully you guys can't hear the uh, fire alarms going on in my building, they're doing some testing today. So uh, hopefully that doesn't interrupt this, but this, week, this sprint, I spent some time uh, with some of our contributors and our new team members to bring them up to speed and really happy to see uh, the engagement there. And I hope that uh, our, you as our community, uh, get in touch with our new members uh, and introduce yourself. Let them know what you are interested in um, and say hi. The other major thing that we've been focusing on uh, this sprint from a communication side is uh, Gitcoin planning. So it was the highest priority. Round 10 is now active. So make sure uh, to check out all the amazing grants available, both within the Common Stack ecosystem and outside it. Gitcoin Grants is uh, like ama an amazing ecosystem supporter. So make sure you check it out. Um, and make sure that you submit your favorite grants to our conviction voting DAP so that they can receive additional matching funding uh, when they get donate donations in PAN. Um, and then speaking of the conviction uh, voting DAP, there's now a walkthrough video that hopefully will be published when you watch this. It's what I'm sharing right now. So it should... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a short walkthrough video. Um, if you're lost at all on how to add grants or participate in the DAP, it should take you through the entire process, all the way from connecting, uh, accessing the site to connecting your MetaMask and enabling your account. Um, 
as well as uh, adding your support to grants or adding adding your uh, grants that you want to add to the DAP for support, as well as changing your uh, support. So all of that will uh, will be out walked through in a video. Um, just yeah, you guys can check it out and make sure you participate. Um, and then in other news from outside of the CommonStack ecosystem, but definitely within our research area, uh, the Keep and New Cypher Keanu Protocol merge passed in both communities, which is another effort that's pushing the boundaries of DAO to DAO interactions. So just wanted to share that um, as another exciting piece of news um, in my world. Uh, and I will pass to Jess. Hey everyone, hope you're having a beautiful week. I'm going to try to share next some things that have been happening um, with ecosystem development and in working to expand our team. So I wanna take a moment to recognize two new collaborators we have joining us, Akene, um, who is in Nigeria. So I think we're now almost at all the continents. Uh, I'm looking for somebody in Antarctica, but uh, hopefully forthcoming. And then we also have Peter, whose uh, handle is Peter. He's uh, an up and coming TE whiz uh, studying CAD CAD and, and working on uh, ecosystem value flows in the larger token engineering ecosystem. So we're so happy that they're joining us. So if you see them interacting in channels, um, please welcome them and say hi. They are also uh, supporting this huge round. So every two months um, you see us pushing really hard all of these grants because this is how we fund our open source uh, ecosystem and all of these incredible projects depend on your generosity and donations from the community. So we're kicking off Gitcoin Grants Round 10 um, and we have this tweet thread out. So if you're wondering who do I give to and we'll have some forthcoming carts that we'll be sharing as well, that makes it easy one click for you to donate. We've got Pan uh, Common Stack Panvala League I wanna highlight. Um, so if you haven't heard of Panvala Magic Internet Money, this is how we get extra funding to our community. So as Chris mentioned, every round we hold a vote uh, with the Trusted Seed to choose your top 15 favorite grants in our community and we give them extra money through Panvala. So if you're gonna give, get some pan. Um, so we walk you through that in this tweet thread, get some pan and donate to the Common Stack Panvala League and that goes to the whole entire community or you can support the common stack and our dozens of contributors. We've got Token Engineering Commons, Common Simulator, CAD CAD, the list goes on. So check out the tweet thread and look out for announcements and updates. And please, please reach out to us if you've never used Gitcoin, if you need support and help in figuring out how to donate. A little donation goes a long way because of quadratic matching. So uh, with Panvala as well, we can get like 20x matching. So if you give a dollar, um, it's worth even a lot more. Um, so small donations ring large. And yeah, check out Pembala if you get a chance, fantastic project. And then the other thing we've been working on, you may have heard in the Etherverse that Gitcoin is decentralizing and turning into a DAO. Um, we are doing loads of governance research and supporting um, the decentralizations, particularly around anti-Sybil and, and anti-fraud um, to protect the ecosystem from that. So there's a lot of interesting research coming out of this initiative. Um, Oops, and I'll stop sharing for one second. So uh, that being said, Jeff's, Jeff's gonna talk a little bit more about this as well and some of the governance research. There's gonna be an upcoming uh, research group because there's been so much demand and discussion. And uh, we shared with you last week our two workshops on governance that um, have really gotten a lot of people talking and, and looking at how can we um, take this work into action and some of this research, make it actionable. So we're working with TE Academy, um, TEC, Medigov, Near Protocol, and several other groups to create a research group in the upcoming months. So with that, I'll pass to Jeff to cover a little bit more of that and some interesting things that he's been working on as well in the academic realm. Absolutely. Thanks for that. Um, so yeah, I, a lot of our governance research and, and frameworks are definitely in high demand. Uh, we've seen uh, between, you know, Medigov, uh, Near Foundation, Regen Network, uh, seeds uh, and the HIFA strategic sensing circle. Um, a lot of these groups are, are really impressed at the, uh, not just the tools that we've suggested, but also the ability to compose and, uh, and layer these tools into larger assemblages of mechanisms that can bring about the collective intelligence that we're looking for in the DAO space. Um, so a lot of that has been going on uh, the past week, which has been, uh, the past weeks, which has been great. 
Um, another uh, opportunity I just want to update everyone on, um, had the opportunity to facilitate an academic panel at the IASC, which is the International Association for the Study of the Commons, which is essentially uh, the, the group that's carrying on a lot of Ostrom's work uh, in terms of uh, uh, studying the commons and, and uh, pulling together all this real world uh, knowledge. So we had the opportunity to speak to a bunch of uh, common scholars about some of this technology um, and I think help to build the legitimacy of blockchain tools as, uh, as convivial tools for the commons and how we can um, uh, use these for um, you know, really socially beneficial purposes. Um, as Jess mentioned, we have a lot of uh, interesting kind of algorithmic policy design going on at uh, Gitcoin DAO. Uh, and considering Gitcoin grants have been uh, one of the, the primary sources of funding for us, really happy to pay it back uh, and make sure that there's, uh, you know, this kind of sustainable, regenerative uh, ecosystem funding for Ethereum public goods, which is so, so critical. Um, yeah, other, other work, we are doing a lot of research on computer-aided governance. Uh, we'll have some more stuff coming out soon about, um, yeah, how to set up computer-aided governance and, uh, and, you know, appropriate algorithmic policy. Um, one other thing we've been looking at is, uh, investigating some of these sort of like improved payment tools to streamline DAO to DAO collaborations or even, uh, contributor collaborations. We see a lot of these sort of smaller initiatives spinning up, um, and just looking to, uh, identify and reduce overhead in terms of, you know, HR payments, um, streaming funding. Um, and there's a lot of interesting stuff there, uh, lots of interest from Prime DAO, uh, in building these tools and definitely a lot of, uh, Sort of use cases that are being seen in the wild. I think there's a lot of groups looking at similar tools um, and really excited to be modeling and uh, working with some of the, the premier research groups to see if we can put together some, some tools that are useful to multiple groups because I think that's ultimately what we're, we're looking to do here at the common stack is solve uh, a large number of problems by introducing the right primitives uh, and the right stacks of primitives so that we can uh, address those. Um, and I won't delay any further. I will pass it on to Dan. Hey, yo. So the trusted seed keeps growing. Basically, we had more applicants. <laughs> no, just kidding. Like, but yeah, I mean, for this spring, we basically had 40 new applicants. Uh, we had, we had 198 activations so far of the trusted seed members. So that's, that's beautiful. And since the last time, that's 25 more. So 25 people activating in two weeks. That's, that's pretty fun. And just as well, like, uh, if you remember, uh, we had the burn and we had to, you know, like fine tune some of the processes of the trusted seed after the burn. So basically, we also had a uh, praise quantification in this sprint. I skipped this praise quant, which is the first for me. I kind of felt some fun on that because it's always fun to look at what everybody is doing. But we had we had a Kenny join us, and you're gonna you shall meet a Kenny. He's he's basically amazing. I was a crash course just jumping into praise quant when you're just joining the team. That's that's really awesome. Daniel Ospina also helped out with that. Praise to you, well, guys, that's amazing. Uh, so we did some fine tuning on that uh, for the minting and for the noti notifications of the system score increase. So now we have two different uh, in increased notifications, basically for the people that are being minted SysTag uh, because of the, of the score increase and the people that had some pending scores increase. So basically every month uh, we'll be adding the increasement of the pending score as well to the contract. So when you activate, you'll have your whole system at once. And that's, you know, some people activate at the, just as we are updating, so they may not get it, but we're working on that. And this is, this is a lot of amazing work to, from the development team. And also just as well, let me, let me share with you guys a little bit of this and also, where is my Bray browser? Okay. So we have something else coming that we are hiring a junior gardener. So Heather help out with this. Praise you, Heather. This is, this is way more detailed than my job description. So this is amazing. This is just great. And it will, it will allow for somebody else to help out on some of the process. And uh, just as well, like uh, allow for more time to co-design engagement activities for the trusted seed. So we can all jump in to make something awesome happen. And just as well, we are working on the Trusted Seed dashboard, which basically you had the DAB, okay? The DAB is great. And we had some things that will be coming, like basically how do we make CSLOP a part of the process, which is something that Tamara is also pushing forward and Ivy, and this is amazing. Uh, just as well, 
a lot of conversations on how do we show the trusted seed inside of there. So you can see some of the work, like uh, some of the, of the work from Christopher, Amin, Marco, uh, Marilyn, which is, man, I, 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 I feel so great looking at these things and jumping on those calls. And we're going to keep working on this. And we had some, some upcoming sessions on that. And it's just, it's just beautiful things that are going to happen. And you're going to see like, just being part of the trusted seed and who's also in there. And all those questions will be answered. Anyway, <laughs> back to you, Griff. Go. Thank you so much. I want to just praise to all the, all the contributors that can't be in the review call, but are here uh, with us in, in our heart and made all this stuff work possible. For Shell and Ivy for helping with the budget, as they do all the time. The Common Swarm team, Sam, Paulo, Fabi, Chewy, Pavel, Nuggin, Vitor, and Fabio, and uh, probably a bunch of other people that jump into the Common Swarm every week and do support. Uh, also, the Params team, Nate, Mitch, Lauren, Marco, Sam, Nuggin, Fabio, Vitor, uh, and, and probably all more people that are always contributing, adding posts to the forum. Also, of course, uh, Ludo and Nico, Nicoline and Kai will help make the shop.commonstack.org happen, and Marco for the designs. Uh, and probably others as well. Uh, and of course, all of the stewards for getting the hatch ready and getting the skill set out there so we know what we need. And also want to praise Octopus, YGG, uh, Muhammad, and uh, Angela, and Zeptimus, and all the people doing categories, all the people doing the praise analysis work that's so needed, uh, and everyone stepping up to make that happen. Uh, and of course, uh, the people that are participating in the forum, Suga, and uh, I guess the rest are all on this call <laughs> uh, for the, the debates on the forum. And also, of course, the uh, Kevin Owaki and Yeller and Scott and all the Gitcoin team for making round 10 uh, for us. Like Gitcoin does so much work, uh, community building work for all of us. Sem for deploying the conviction voting DAP again. And uh, of course, Peter uh, for stepping up for the Anna Kenne, uh, for stepping up to help take some stuff off of our hands. That's really, really incredible. Uh, also, Z, Primavera, Kelsey, Felix, and uh, the rest of the crew that made the, uh, that participated in the academic panel. And of course, the, the Seeds team and Region Network uh, for helping us uh, be a partner, get in partnership with them. And uh, yeah, and uh, Heather uh, for helping us do all this hiring work. It's really cool. It uh, takes a major load off our hand. Our back office work never gets enough appreciation, and we need to, we need to change that. Uh, but thank you guys for listening to our review. Uh, permaculture has been fun. Let's see what we do next round. Thank you, guys.